Joe Sims, the national coach here, joining us. First call for you, sir, comes from Angela. She's in Pennsylvania, independent line. You're on with our guests. Good morning. Go ahead. Good morning, Pedro. Mr. Sims, please don't take any of my questions as a form of disrespect, but I am. I've never heard of the Communist Party of, of the USA. Um, and honestly, it, it, it kind of scares me. Um, I was listening to what you were saying about Trump and Biden, and quite frankly, in my opinion, I feel like the Democrats have tried to turn us into a socialist, communist nation. I mean, I don't want to be controlled by the government, and I respect your rights to organize and, and to speech, and I don't want my rights stifled. So in your party, can you explain to me how your government would would run as opposed to, to what we already have? Because I believe in my Second Amendment. I'm... I have a gun to protect myself from a tyrannical government and to defend my home. But if you come down with, we're going to snatch everybody's guns, yeah, I'll turn mine in, but the gang members aren't going to turn theirs in. So therefore, you're, you know, you're putting me at risk on that one. And then with climate change, there's only one solution to that, and that's just put a dome across America because you're never going to get China to comply. And I'm just, it's like I'm confused. Okay. Can you help well, me? Got your points out, caller. Thank you for calling, Mr. Sims. Well, uh, thank you for your question. No one is interested in taking away your gun. You know, uh, that's not the uh, uh, issue. Uh, I do think that the military budget is a, a big issue and the amount of money that we're spending on arms and shipping them uh, all over the world, that's a that's a uh, a, a gun issue. Uh, I think that with respect to the issue of gangs, one of the things that we have to do is to address the uh, drug crisis in this country. A lot of the gangs uh, are organized around the distribution of uh of uh, illegal substances. And I think that uh, we have to take a public health approach to it. Um, I, 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 uh, the, the Communist Party is not in favor of big government. That's, that's not what uh, we stand for. We stand for the right of ordinary, you know, working class people like yourself to have the uh, right to have control over your lives, you know. Uh, to to control over what you produce and to control uh, how that is distributed, you know. So it's not about restricting uh, people's rights. Uh, it's about empowering working people to be able to control our own uh, destinies. I, I, I don't think that at this uh, day and time uh, we need uh, filthy uh, rich people who really don't produce anything determining how the country is run um, and uh, what we're able to uh, see on television and uh, listen to on the radio or hear uh, in social media. And, and that is what is increasingly the uh, case. The, the mass media is increasingly controlled by international financial and media conglomerates. Not a good thing. Uh, that needs to be democratized, and 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 the party, you know, stands for that kind of uh, international uh, cooperation to uh, make that happen. And I think that with respect to uh, China, you know, uh, I believe that the Chinese people and and their leadership want their children and their grandchildren uh, to be able to breathe and 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 uh, live uh, free of environmental pollution and, and toxic waste and so on and so forth. So we have to find points of agreement, you know, to, to, to bring this under control before it gets so out of control that we risk the extinction of the species.